Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Tari Shirdad and today we are going to discuss about nutrition in fungi. That uh, how fungi get uh, its uh, energy or get its nutrition from the environment. And there are four different parts of this question or four different moods of nutrition in fungi. Uh, uh, fungi may be parasitic or fungi may be decomposer, fungi may be predator and it also gets energy through the process of mutualistic association. So there are four different parts of this question. This one is a long question. But this question in exam is written in such a way that no all four different methods are asked in question. Only one or maximum two different methods of nutrition may be in your uh, question paper. Maybe it is in the form of explain the uh, nutrition in fungi like uh, uh, as a decomposers and parasitic are parasitic are decomposers are parasitic and predator are only mutualistic association so this is a very long question it is not in uh, it is not a long question in such a way that you have to write the all its four parts but it in it is in the form of different part uh, say for example he says that explain only mutualistic association or even a long question in your exam is also uh, comes in your final exam in such a way that he says that explain only lichen or explain only mycorrhizal in detail so it is also a sub part of a, a mood of nutrition so keep in mind that this whole is not a long question but its parts are in the form of long question uh, first of all, there is a, a general overview that uh, how fungi gets energy. Uh, first thing to keep in mind that fungi is heterotroph. It means that it lack chlorophyll. It is not able to synthesize its foods, but it uh, gets energy from the environment or gets compound from the uh, environment to get energy by absorbing them at it lack chlorophyll it is heterotroph but it obtain material from their uh, host or from decomposing material by absorbing it means that uh, it is absorptive uh, heterotroph in mood of nutrition so first is their introduction fungi lack chlorophyll means there is no chlorophyll in fungi hence they are heterotroph and number two it get energy and carbon from organic matter and organic matter is dead now in this part he says that it get energy and carbon energy mean it by breaking the dead organic compounds of plant and animal sometime it obtained compounds and then it break compound in its cytoplasm to obtain energy number one and sometime he directly break the compounds that are present in environment and get directly energy from the host not the compound keep in mind that there are two solutions number one he gets compound from environment and break in their cytoplasm and then get energy this one is in the form of carbon carbon mean it obtain compounds Whereas in case of energy, it directly break compounds that present in environment and obtain energy from them. So the, uh, he says two different ways. But the compound from where it get energy is organic matter and it is a dead organic matter mean dead and decaying plant body, dead and decaying animal body uh, from these compounds that are complex in nature, it produce enzymes, these enzymes break them and then complex compound is converted into simple compounds, then these simple compounds are absorbed by the uh, fungi. <coughs> Next. Fungi absorb their food, thus they are heterotroph, uh, absorptive heterotroph. It not ingest food like us. Uh, for example, in case of mammals or animals, they ingest their food into their digestive system. But in case of fungi, it absorb food from their host. That's why fungi is called as absorptive heterotroph. So uh, there is an MCQs there. Fungi is heterotroph, absorptive, ingestive, both or none. Fungi are heterotroph, uh, first point is clear that fungi is not autotroph, fungi is heterotroph. But uh, its mood of nutrition is absorptive, means it not ingestive. 
इट्स मूड ऑफ न्यूट्रीशन इज एब्जॉर्बटिव सो इट इज एब्जॉर्बटिव नॉट इनजस्टिव नॉट बोथ नन सो ऑल दीज आंसर आर रॉन्ग बट फर्स्ट वन एब्जॉर्बटिव है टू ट्राफ इज राइट वन सो कीप इन माइंड कीप इन योर माइंड दैट दिस वन इज एन ऑल्सो एन सी क्यू नेक्स्ट वन आर मूड्स ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन सो फर्स्ट कंडीशन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन इज टू राइट ऑल दीज फोर डिफरेंट मैथड्स नेम दैट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू मैंशन द नेम्स ऑफ दीज मैथड दैट यूर एग्जामिनर इमेजिन यू दैट यू हैव ऑल दैट यू यू लर्न आर यू स्टडी अबाउट ऑल दीज फोर मैथड्स राइट देयर नेम देन एक्सप्लेन वन बाय वन so first is parasitic mode of nutrition second is predator third one is mutualistic association these four are different mechanism of food uh, food absorption in uh, fungi number 1 saprotroph number 2 parasitic number 3 predator number 4 mutualistic and number 1 we will explain them one by one first of all we will explain saprotroph number 2 we will explain uh, Uh, parasitic mode of nutrition and in number 3 we will explain as predatory mode of nutrition and number 4 we will explain uh, the mutualistic association that one is lengthy so first of all first mode of nutrition is saprotroph saprotroph mean saprotroph saprobes decomposers these three different names stands for same situation there are three different names but they use for same situation that they act as decomposers and you know well that decomposers or decomposition is a process in which fungi break down the dead bodies of plant and animal and they get food from them uh, that process of nutrition in fungi is known as decomposers for this process fungi produce enzyme these enzymes are digestive enzyme or breaking enzyme these enzymes are secreted to their uh, decomposing plant or decomposing animal bodies and these enzyme break the bodies of uh, uh, break the complex compound of dead bodies into simple one and these simple one compounds are absorbed by the special hyphae of the fungi that are known as rhizides so that is the whole process of decomposer uh, fungi act as decomposer once again when fungi act as decomposer they produce enzyme these enzyme are secreted to the dead and decaying materials and these enzyme break the complex compounds into simple one and these simple one compounds are absorbed by the plant body back to their fungi uh, sorry uh, fungi body to back their body by the special type of fungi and these fungi are known as rhizide and rhizides form two function number one it can attach the fungi to the substratum through which fungi is getting or absorbing its food and number two it is also used for the absorption of the food so these two functions are performed by rhizides of fungi so first one is saprotroph saprobes and decomposers so saprotrophs most fungi are saprotroph this one is an mcq use mark in your book that this is a mcq use that most fungi are saprotroph number 2 obtain food from dead organic matter and what is process no you have to make small headings that make your questions or answer easy and it will also cause ease for your examiner to check so first is uh, first heading you make a small heading about process that what is the process of saprotroph or what is the process of decomposition through which the fungi get their food from their dead organic matter so process is that Uh, fungi produce digestive enzyme mean that break the dead body of living organism uh, dead body of organisms and produce digestive enzyme these digestive enzymes secreted to dead bodies these digestive enzymes are secreted to dead bodies that have to broken down and these dead bodies produce simple compound mean uh, the dead bodies consist of complex compound dead bodies consist of complex compound and these complex compounds now broken down into simple molecules and these simple molecules are absorbed back by the fungi with the help of rhizide when complex compounds of dead animal or plant body are broken down 
then these broken compounds are converted now into simple molecules and that are absorbed by the body of fungi next one is absorbed back by the fungi with the uh, help of rhizoid rhizoids are hyphae they are made up of special hyphae so rhizoids and there are two function of rhizoid this is an also mcq z and uh, the line in your topic is confusing so you make two points there in the words of rhizoids that rhizoids attached to the substratum rhizoids attached to the substratum number 1 and rhizoids absorb food that is number 2 both these functions are performed by rhizoid both these functions are performed by rhizoid this one is an mcqs mark in your book next so that was the process of decomposition that how the decomposition by fungi takes place that was all about this process next one is what is the importance of this process means when fungi are performing the functions of decomposers then what is importance of this process or what is the importance of a uh, fungi functions as a uh, sapro saprobes so uh, when they are performing the function of decomposer they decompose cellulose plus lignin and we know well that cellulose and lignin are present in the cell wall of the fungi cell wall of fungi that consists of cellulose and lignin it is not decomposed by all bacteria I means there are specific or some type of bacteria that are able to decompose the lignin and cellulose that is present in the cell wall of plant but cellulose and lignin can easily broken down by fungi so cellulose and lignin not decomposed by many bacteria but they are decomposed by fungi next one that one first point next one is second point major decomposers of biosphere fungi are major decomposers of biosphere cause recycling of calcium nitrogen oxygen hydrogen phosphorus they can also used in the recycling of sulfur so carbon nitrogen oxygen hydrogen and phosphorus are recycled by bacteria uh, sorry fungi and next one is example example is not mentioned in your textbook example is not mentioned in your textbook so you have to write this example in your textbook in this topic that pencilium or pencilium notatum is the example of decomposers fungi that one one part is completed that how fungi act as a decomposers are the decomposition method of nutrition in the fungi from here saprotroph to pencilium that one all about saprotrophic are fungi as a decomposers along with process of decomposition and number 2 importance of decomposition and number 3 example of decomposer so you have to write in this way better way that will uh, inshallah help you to get maximum marks and uh, number 2 parasitic mode of nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition that how fungi obtain mood uh, uh, obtain food by living parasitically to their host means they are decomposer as well as parasitic so in parasitic or parasitism are in mood of parasitism how they get food from their host we will study in this topic some fungi lives parasitically absorb nutrient directly from their host cell cytoplasm some fungi lives parasitically absorb nutrient directly from their host cytoplasm this one is an also mcq means that they have special type of hyphae that are known as hastoria they penetrate hastoria to their host living cytoplasm and absorb nutrient from their cytoplasm through hastoria this one is an also mcq types types is short question so once again saprotrophic mode of nutrition only is a short question whereas 
parasitic mode of nutrition is also a short question and next type of fungi as parasite is also a long question and we know that there are many types of parasite on their mode of life cycle on their uh, mood of transmission on their mood of time on which they reside on their host there are many types of uh, bacteria uh, many types of parasite but here we will discuss only two their types obligate parasite and facultative parasite first of all make sure that uh, what is difference between obligate and facultative obligate parasite is a parasite that is obedient only to their host means they obey their host they don't like anyone more or even they cannot grow in artificial culture medium or we are not able to grow them in library uh, laboratory so the obligate parasite are those parasite that can only live their host we cannot uh, grow them in artificial culture medium or in laboratory that is known as obedient parasite or obligate parasite number two facultative parasite they have facility to grow in anywhere mean they can grow in their host and as well as they can grow in the artificial culture medium growth medium or in laboratory that is difference between two them and now we will uh, look from here obligate parasite live only on their host not grown in culture media means they only live their host we are not able to culture them in growth media or culture media and their example are most important mcqs that uh, example are rust and mildew are example of obligate parasite and next one is facultative parasite facultative parasite live both on host as well as artificial media means uh, they have ability that we can grow them in artificial culture medium and if we provide them their host they can also grow on their host and example is not written in your textbook give example as armillaria armillaria is the example of facultative parasite so this one is an mcq no one thing to clear about hostoria and rhizite this hostoria one is also an mcqs and uh, in which type this is mcqs if fungi obtaining food as a saprobes if fungi obtaining his food as a saprobe then the part of fungi that used for absorption is rhizite once again in case of decomposers fungi the uh, part of body that used for absorption is rhizide whereas in case of parasitic fungi the part of body that used for the absorption of food is hostoria okay once again hostoria is related to parasitic fungi whereas rhizide is related to uh, uh, their decomposers fungi rhizide provide attachment and absorption whereas hostoria is used for absorption hostoria in case of parasitic fungi whereas rhizides in case of decomposers fungi okay so this one uh, you have to keep in your mind it is also an mcq next and third one is predator that how fungi get their food as predator predator mean they cause the death of the prey and then digest them to obtain their food so in case of predator there are two different forms they may be omnivores or they may be carnivores they may be omnivores or they may be carnivores in case of omnivores omnivores mean they are uh, vegetable eaters as well as their animal eaters mean carnivores plus herbivores both collectively called omnivores that they can eat plant and animal bodies both so they are omnivores and in case of carnivores carnivores only eat uh, uh, animal bodies so eat uh, carnivores eat meat omnivores eat uh, vegetable and meat omnivores mean all type of material they can eat uh, now we will give example of omnivores and carnivores in this one first one is omnivores that what are omnivores omnivores oster mushroom example is palerotus ostratus omnivore example is oster mushroom 
नो वन पॉइंट टू मेक एट दिस क्लियर दैट इन सम ओल्ड टेक्सट बुक देर इज़ अ मिस्टेक दैट आई थिंक ही सेज दैट आर्थरो बोटरस इज ओमनीमर बट इट इज़ रॉन्ग आर्थरो बोटरस इज नाट ओमनीमर दैट इज कार्निवर बट ऑस्टर मशरूम इज ओमनीवर ऑस्टर मशरूम इज ओमनीवर इन सम टेक्सट बुक इज अ मिस्टेक बट द करेक्ट थिंग इज दैट ऑस्टर मशरूम इज आ ओमनी एंड ऑस्टर मशरूम पैलिडोटस ओस्टेटस पैरालाइज पैनिटेट एब्जॉर्ब नाइट्रोजन फ्रॉम नीमाटो नीमाटो इज अ फाइलम दैट इज राउंड वर्म इन अस्केरस एक्सेट्रा दैट ऑस्टर मशरूम टू नीमाटोड इट नीमाटोड पैरालाइज इट पैनिटेट टू नीमाटोड इट एब्जॉर्ब नाइट्रोजन फ्रॉम नीमाटोड एंड ग्लूकोज रिक्वायरमेंट बाई ब्रेकिंग वुड मीन इट ओनली एब्जॉर्ब नाइट्रोजन फ्रॉम देयर प्रे इन केस ऑफ नीमाटोड दे रिलीज पॉइजन दैट पैरालाइज द नीमाटोड एंड देन दे पैनिट्रेट देयर हाई फी एंड गेट नाइट्रोजन फ्राम दैम बट फॉर कार्बन रिक्वायरमेंट दे गेट कार्बन फ्राम ब्रेकिंग वुड मीन कार्बन आर ग्लूकोज इज ऑप्टेन फ्राम वुड एंड नाइट्रोजन इज ऑप्टेन फ्राम नीमाटोड लास्ट वन इज कार्निवर्स कार्निवर्स मीन दे आर एनिमल ईटर्स अजान इज बींग कार्ड लास्ट वन इज कार्निवर कार्निवर मीन एनिमल ईटर्स आर्थ्रोबोटस इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ कार्निवर आर्थ्रोबोटस आल्सो फीड्स ऑन नीमाटोड इट हाउ इट फीड्स ऑन नीमाटोड इट ट्रैप नीमाटोड कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग फॉर्म कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग रिंग अराउंड नीमाटोड एंड इन वैड हैफी इन टू नीमाटोड दैन डाइजेस्ट द बॉडी ऑफ नीमाटोड मीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट ट्रैप ट्रैप मीन कैच और ट्रैप इंटेंजर्ड नीमाटोड बॉडी देन फॉर्म कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग रिंग इट विल इंटेंजर्ड आर फॉर्म अ कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग रिंग ओवर द नीमाटोड बॉडी देन इन वैड द हाई फी टू इट्स बॉडी एंड देन डाइजेस्ट द अनलकी विक्टम सो दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द प्रोडेटर दीज आर एडोप्टेशन डिफरेंट मैकनिज्म फॉर एग्जाम्पल हेयर ओमनीवर्स पैरालाइज वेयर एज कार्निवर्स फॉर्म कंस्ट्रिक्टिंग रिंग्स बट देयर आर मैनी अदर टाइप ऑफ हाइफी दैट फॉर्म दैट सेक्रीट स्टिकी सबस्टांसिस एंड दीज सबस्टांसिस कैन जैम आर कैन ब्लॉक द मूवमेंट ऑफ देयर प्रे एंड दैट कैन दिस स्टार्ट डाइजेशन सो दे आर मे बी डिफरेंट मैकनिजम्स फॉर फंजई एज अ डिकम्पोजर दैट वॉज ऑल अबाउट द प्रेडिटर्स Uh, i think uh, you can understand that how you have to solve this question 
and if you have any hesitation about this question then you can uh, also ask me in your comment section fourth mood of nutrition in fungi that is mutualistic association in fungi we know that there are two different type of mutualistic association in fungi number one is called as lichen and number two it is called as mycorrhiza lichen and mycorrhiza we will explain uh, this uh, in this topic and keep in mind that uh, lichen is also a separate long question whereas mycorrhiza is also a separate long question both this comes as separately but they can come as uh, a combined question but uh, very rarely because this answer will become so high or so large that uh, it will uh, time consuming for student so now we started properly uh, first is mutualistic association first of all you have to define that what is mutualistic association and we know that mutualistic association is an association in which both partner get benefited from each other means neither partner is harmed or remain neutral no both partner get, ben get benefit from each other that is known as mutualistic association and this line is about mutualistic association that in which the both partner get benefit this is mutualistic association and number two their types uh, there are two different type of mutualistic association lichens and mycorrhiza lichens and mycorrhiza are mutualistic association lichen is fungi plus photoautotrophic algae uh, lichen is association of fungi with a phototroph uh, algae or cyanobacteria blue green algae uh, yes here lichen fungi plus autotrophic algae and mycorrhiza myco means fungi and rhiza means roots mycorrhiza is association between fungi and roots of higher plant or roots of vascular plant <clears throat> next uh, lichen lichens may be in a short question or as a long question that write a detailed note on lichen so to solve this question you have to form simple headings or some headings for this question first of all what is the definition of lichen and number two its explanation number three it's uh, uh, important so it will cover the uh, total topic first is association between uh, association between fungi fungi is mostly ascomycota and imperfect fungi it is association between fungi and green algae or cyanobacteria mean association of fungi with green algae and cyanobacteria fungi that form association are mostly ascomycota and some imperfect mostly imperfect fungi but very rarely are but less is a basidiomycota mean there are four groups of fungi zygomycota ascomycota basidiomycota and uh, uh, deuteromycota are imperfect fungi so out of these two forms mostly ascomycota and imperfect fungi mostly and green algae and cyano with green algae and cyanobacteria but basidiomycota also form but less in number means only 20 out of 15,000 it means that uh, once again mostly association of fungi that involve in lichen is uh, imperfect fungi and ascomycota whereas basidiomycota is present in less number as he says that only 20 out of 15,000 both these lines are MCQs next one is explanation that what is the explanation of the lichen and its explanation is that visible part of lichen consider this that this is a lichen association and the outer surface of this uh, material you can see all this is the lichen uh, all this is the fungus hyphae whereas the pro, uh, prokaryote or cyanobacteria is present within these hyphae or mycelium it means that when you see lichen you can only see the hyphal part or fungus part of the lichen 
but the cyanobacteria is present within this mycelium and they are not seen by uh, over overview or overlook so visible part of lichen is a fungus this one is an also mcq and algal component within the hyphae algal component hidden within the hyphae or algal component present within the hyphae both these lines are mcqs no next one is that what the role is played by fungus in lichen and what role is played by plant in lichen fungus protect algae fungus perform two function it protect algae from strong light that the strong light uh, damage the algae cells algal cells so uh, the fungi protect the algae from the strong light number one and number two it protect from desiccation it protect from desiccation so these both these are mcqs that the function performed by uh, fungus next one is algae that algae provide food to fungus fungus provide protection against desiccation protection against uh, strong light but uh, algae provide food in return to fungus so this association will become as a uh, mutualistic association or lichen and next one is right role of fungus and algae in lichen this one is a short question here that right role of fungus and algae in lichen uh, so the answer of these question is that what function fungus perform and what function algae perform so both are written above this next one is lichen vary in shapes size colors overall appearance and growth forms both these are uh, both these lines are written in your next page but you withdraw these lines from there and write along with the explanation next one is importance of lichens that what is the importance of lichen or what function perform lichen there are two different functions are important first of all in harsh places are at bare rocks lichen can grow but lichen can grow in bare rocks where alan like alan fungi or algae never can form growth or never can grow so here whenever both these are present they can be show their growth here next one is used as bio indicator for pollution this one is also mcqs uh, that uh, what function performed by the uh, uh, that what is the use of the fungi in uh, pollution or uh, in uh, uh, pollution indicator fungi uh, uh, lichens are used uh, or mycorrhiza are used so this one is also an mcq that uh, act as pollution bioindicator or uh, lichen next one is short question is ecological importance of lichen that what is the uh, important ecological importance of lichen so this one is also mcqs next one is layers this is diagram from your textbook that layers uh, there are different growth layers of the fungi for example if uh, i try my best to make you understand that this one is rock and over this this lichen is growing and this lichen has four different uh, layers the layer that is with rock is bottom layer and the layer that is on the upper surface is known as uh, top layer or surface layer so there are four different layers that one is rocks through which it is attached and uh, after uh, in the rocks the, uh, the hyphae are the fungi that is attached form a bottom layer above this is loosely hyphae above this is fungus plus phototroph and on the top it is surface layer here is an mcq that uh, suridia are asexual structure suridia is not a spore it is a smallest unit of uh, lichen mean where suridia is present it will germinate to form a new lichen state next one is growth form of lichens that what are growth forms of lichen where uh, how many types of growth form? there are many types but here we discuss only three folios lichen stage crustose lichen stage and fruticose lichen stage folios lichen stage is also called leaf like this one is an also mcq and its example is permelia this one is also mcq whereas crustose lichen stage tightly attached bcdia and lichen this is an also mcq 
नेक्स्ट वन इज फ्रूटिकोज लाइक इन ब्रांचिंग नोन एज रामालीना इज आल्सो रामालीना इज एग्जांपल ऑफ फ्रूटिकोज लीकनर एंड बेसिडिया इज एग्जांपल ऑफ क्रस्टोज परमीलिया इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ फोलियोज लाइक इन स्टेज ऑल दीज आर एमसीक्यूज नो द लाइक इन टॉपिक इज क्लियर नो आर कंप्लीट हियर दैट डेफिनेशन ऑफ लाइक इन एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ लाइक इन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ लाइक इन एंड ग्रोथ फॉर्म्स एंड इट्स लेयर नो लाइक इन इज कंप्लीटेड नेक्स्ट वन इज माइको राइजा माइको मीन फंजाई राइजा मीन रूट्स ऑफ प्लांट माइको राइजा फंजाई एसोसिएशन ऑफ फंजाई विद रूट्स ऑफ प्लांट एसोसिएशन ऑफ फंजई विद रूट्स ऑफ प्लांट इज नोन एज माइकोराइजा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट्स डेफिनेशन एसोसिएशन बिटवीन फंजई एंड रूट्स ऑफ वस्कुलर प्लांट अबाउट नाइंटी फाइव परसेंट प्लांट इन्वॉल्व इन दिस सिचुएशन सो दिस वन इज ऑन ऑल्सो एम सी क्यू जैट वस्कुलर प्लांट मीन द प्लांट दैट है वस्कुलर बंडल मीन जायलम एंड फ्लोएम दे आर नोन एज वस्कुलर प्लांट सो एसोसिएशन बिटवीन फंजई एंड रूट्स ऑफ वस्कुलर प्लांट इज नोन एज माइकोराइज एंड अबाउट नाइन्टी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ वस्कुलर प्लांट हैव दिस एसोसिएशन नेक्स्ट वन इज वट रोल इज प्लेड बाय फंगस फॉर प्लांट एंड वट रोल इज प्लांट परफॉर्म बाय फंजई रोल ऑफ फंजई इंक्रीज द प्लांट अमाउंट ऑफ सॉइल कंटेंट इट इंक्रीज अमाउंट ऑफ सॉइल कंटेंट फॉर प्लांट इट आल्सो इंक्रीज द सरफेस एरिया फॉर एब्जॉर्बशन इट आल्सो इंक्रीज आर हेल्प एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ फॉसोरस जिंक एंड कापर एब्जॉर्बशन ऑफ फॉसफोरस जिंक एंड कापर Uh, that is a role played by fungi next one a role played by plant for fungi it provide organic carbon to hyphae mean organic carbon or nutrient or organic compound is provided to hyphae next one is type of mycorrhiza there are two types of mycorrhiza endomycorrhiza and ectomycorrhiza एंडो मीन इन विच हाइफी पेनीट्रेट इन द आउटर सर्फिस आर लेयर्स ऑफ द सेल इन द रूट इज नोन एज एंडो माइकोराइजा एंड एक्टो माइकोराइजा इन विच द फंजई हाइफी ओनली सराउंड द सेल आर बिटवीन द सेल मेमरे नॉट पेनीट्रेट टू द सेल विल नोन एज एक्टो माइकोराइजा कीप इन माइंड दैट either it is ecto either it is endo in both cases the hyphae goes only to lateral side not inside it so uh, in endomycorrhiza fungal hyphae penetrate outer cells of the root and ectomycorrhiza hyphae not penetrate but surround outer cells of the roots whereas in endomycorrhiza hyphae form coils swellings and minute branches and in ectomycorrhiza Uh, it is found in pines or fields both these are somewhat differ uh, but you have to write in such a way that their difference is also is a short question and last one is the diagram explaining the answer for this one that hyphae these are penetrating within the cytoplasm of cells so they are known as endomy uh, endomycorrhiza whereas in this case they are present on the outer layer of the cell so they are known as ectomycorrhiza that was all about this topic allah hafiz